I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and this is the August update. Topic for August is, the frequency of August has to do with being squeezed. Make sure you stay till the end because we have an activation and then there's we have some uh, group clearings that you'll want get to get in on. All right, so squeezed. Okay, when I look at the energy, the frequencies, and what does that really mean? And energetically, if you can just imagine, you know, imagine your own self, imagine your body, imagine your subconscious, imagine your soul imprint with all the carryover from all the different past lives, all the traumas and angst and horrors and crisis, and all the different things that are carried over that come from the past. Uh, they're anchored into your energy here right now. So all of these energies that you have not known, what I mean by that is that you have not actually surrendered to, to the point of actually knowing these energies, these frequencies, for example, like, like the feeling of abandonment okay, or rejection. If you haven't gone through that because of situations, events that have taken place right here, right now in your life, <clears throat> and you haven't gone through that, then that energy still stays inside of you. Okay, So all of these energy frequencies, all the carryovers, everything you've gathered more evidence of in this lifetime, all these energies, these emotional frequencies, it's the emotion, okay? All these emotional frequencies are literally being squeezed. What happens when we squeeze something? Think of this. Think, think of a tube of toothpaste. You squeeze it, what happens? The toothpaste comes out, right? Okay, so if you can imagine your own body and you can imagine on the, the subconscious and the chakras and you know your whole energy field and imagine that all those energies that are buried in your subconscious that you haven't faced yet, that you haven't gone through those deep feelings yet. I'm not talking about spinning the same feelings like the poor me, my mother abandoned me or whatever your story is. You know, that's, that's the story and you can spin that story for eternity and never go into the actual emotions of what it really felt like and feels like. So you're, you're dancing on the surface emotion, thinking you're doing your feeling work, thinking you're feeling the feelings of being abandoned or rejected, okay? So what's going to be happening is, is those deep, deep feelings inside, like I'm going to just use abandonment rejected, okay, those deep feelings inside where you have carried past, past, past incarnations, past lives, I guarantee you there's going to be hundreds of experiences of feeling abandoned and rejected that you have not unraveled, otherwise you wouldn't be recreating it now. Okay, so you haven't done it. So you got hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes of that energy that you've not felt it, not known it. It's unresolved and it's still lodged in the subconscious. It's lodged in your, in your frequencies. It's in different organs. But just imagine now that that feeling, you know, poor me, abandoned and rejected. Now, as it's getting squeezed, you can no longer hide from it you can no longer bury it you can no no longer like you know, override it it's going to come up okay it's going to come up in scenarios and situations with other people that are in your life that are going to do things that are going to activate that deep feeling of rejected abandoned okay who knows what it's going to look like but i guarantee you Somebody, maybe it's someone close, maybe it's an, a boss, maybe it's your parents, maybe it's your siblings, maybe it's your children, maybe it's your beloved, your lover, your husband, your, your husband, wife, doesn't matter, but someone's going to do something that's going to hit that energy inside. And with the frequencies that are happening at planetarily, because this also dictates what's happening energetically. So with all the different alignments that are happening and the energy frequencies, uh, you know, of the, the, the moon and the planets and all the frequencies, the new paradigm, it's just this energy frequency that's coming together. And if you were to see it energetically, it would be almost like, like, let's just say that this is the earth. Okay. So here's the earth. Okay. So all these energies are coming and literally they're like coming in and, and 
squeezing on this energy, squeezing, okay, squeezing. So the squeeze that's going to happen is going to be hitting the, the subconscious. So all these energy frequencies, squeezing, squeezing, okay, it's like a tube of toothpaste. It's going to squeeze <laughs> and the energy is going to come up and out, okay? The problem is, is if you don't understand what's happening, you're going to be blaming other people. You're going to be... Uh, really upset with other people, you you might even feel like, you know, like, wow, they're, you know, I'm forsaken, or what, you know, what's happening? Why am I, why is this happening to me, the poor me stuff? So you're going to go into states of that, like, okay, poor me, okay, rather than the awareness that this is happening, because you've got trauma, you've got past life carryover of issues of abandonment and rejection, and they have to be faced and unraveled and healed and cleared in order for you to not keep calling this kind of experience into your life. And what will happen, though, in the asleepness of who most people are, there's no awareness of higher teachings and that you are creating your reality 100 percent and everything's a carryover from past lives. And what you're really doing here is trying to unravel and heal and clear the past experiences that are being reactivated in this lifetime. So you don't know that, okay? Most people don't have a clue about that. They just feel like they're victimized. So here's what happens with the victims when they're being squeezed. It goes into, again, blame, blame. Your fault, somebody else's fault. The victim mentality. Why is this happening to me? These things keep happening to me. People keep hurting me. People keep abandoning me, rejecting me. Poor me, okay? So in those feelings, what's being asked of you, and remember, you know, everyone's going to have something different. Abandonment, rejection, I'm just using that as an example. So you're going to have to look at your own life and get a sense of, okay, what keeps coming up in my world? Oh, I can't, money can't, I can't, money, money comes in, it goes out as fast as it comes in, or, you know, there's no money coming in and, and all that creates all this fear, anxiety, worry. And, and so my point is, is it's not about the story. It's not about looking at what's happening. It's not about blaming and judging and becoming the victim and doing the poor me and all of, you know, those kinds of victim consciousness. It's like now is the time to wake up to, wait a second, who am I? Why does this keep happening to me? Oh. Wait a second. I remember. It's the soul's journey. We carry stuff over from the past, carry it forward. And then situations with and events, people, circumstances will happen to activate that wound in me so that I can unravel it and heal it and be free and liberated from this particular issue and not have to keep recreating it lifetime after lifetime. So because we don't know that, then we go into, oh, poor me again, blaming. Okay. So as long as we want to keep blaming, there's nowhere to go. What's going to happen for those people who are being, well, the whole world's going to be squeezed, but for those who want to keep making it about other people, that other people are hurting you, other people out there, okay? See my fingers out there? And yet, who's creating your reality? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so... If you wake up and realize and understand that you are creating your reality and you're doing it through your subconscious, through all the carryover beliefs, all the traumas and horrors and crisis that you lived in being abandoned and rejected, that energy is in your subconscious, okay? So now you're realizing, oh, there's a carryover. This is a wound inside. So that means, hmm, if I'm creating my reality 100%, that means I've created this and this is why it's happening for me. So that I can unravel this particular kind of wounding, unravel this misperception, unravel this belief, so that I stop recreating it. Okay, because when you when you know yourself in a frequency in a particular emotional energy, when you know yourself, that means surrendered, know it, not just spinning, spinning on the surface, but dropping into the depths of what those emotions are in being, you know, rejected and abandoned then that energy frequency is dissolved, released and transforms and lifts from the, the subconscious. It no longer is a, a magnetic pull 
that works with you know pulling people to you with those that are going to treat you in these ways that isn't that isn't there anymore that magnet's gone okay so if that magnet's gone get on to the next issue okay <laughs> who knows what that one is but you know every everything in your life there's something connected to it okay and we're trying to unravel all of that that's why those of us who do our inner work and go through these places all of these issues are no longer happening. They're, they're irrelevant in our world. We don't even think about it. It's no longer an angst. There's no longer a trauma. There's no longer damage. There's no longer wounding. We're free. So people who are aware and understand that you do create your own reality, okay, and that you are trying to unravel and heal and clear a lot of all the past life traumas, and that in doing so, you are freed from those experiences, okay? Now, the victim keep holding on to wanting to be right wanting to prove how you've hurt every other people out there it's all their fault you know and there's nowhere to go with that okay so you'll hang on to being a victim for eternity until you realize that oh you really are creating your own reality okay but until you take responsibility and become accountable for your life and your actions and you're going to maintain being a victim here's some of the things that i come across with people who have been victimized, and we've all been victimized. That's the bottom line. Everyone has been victimized, all right? Now, those who want to hold on to that, there's something in there that they're getting out of it, okay? So no one suffers as much as they seemingly think they do, okay? They're the martyr, poor me, okay? Then, then you never have to step up to the plate and you know, become successful. You get to stay a failure. You never get to risk being successful and risk being a failure because you won't even try, okay? So it's the poor me, the victim. So in, in, in the journey of the unraveling, you know, it's like we want to be free. We want to be liberated. That's what we're doing here. We're, we're here to share the gift of who we are, sharing uh, that heart open and, uh, you know, no, no more holding back, you know, no more inhibitions. It's just that free state of flow with the heart open where we're experiencing more and more condition, unconditional love, okay? But when we come back to the victim, victims still wanna hold on to blaming because as long as I'm a victim, then, you know, then I have no responsibility at all. I'm a victim or me, okay? There's an emotion in there too. And there's also a perverse pleasure in one's suffering that you might wanna wake up to, okay? The way you wake up to that is when you start feeling that victim energy, like, okay, so-and-so did this to me, they rejected me, abandoned me, okay, and I'm, you know, shattered, hurt. Um, but when we hold on to that victim, that poor me, when you feel into that feeling, and when you think about a situation and you can feel that feeling of being a victim, if you really just sit with that for a little bit and just start opening up to the possibility that, wait a second, there's a pleasure in this. It feels so good to feel so bad, all right? And when you start playing with that and you start waking up to it, then, then you start to realize, wait a second, do I really want to keep myself a victim or do I want to wake up and, you know, become accountable and responsible, okay? So the, perver the perverse pleasure in one's suffering you need to wake up to, okay? So again, anytime you're feeling poor me, Poor me, why is this happening again? Oh, wait a second, perverse pleasure. How does this feel? Oh yeah, I can feel, oh, there it is right there. Uh-huh, feels so good to feel so bad. Why give it up? <laughs> why give it up? Because, you know, you change your life. Oh no, you'll change your life and then you'll become responsible and accountable. Oh no, what a horror. <laughs> so, being squeezed is a great opportunity, you know, for everyone. But again, some people will go deeper into the victimization. They'll feel they'll get more traumatized, and uh, the the darkness, the negativity in their energy field will get deeper and deeper and deeper anchored in. And ultimately, here's what will happen in the long run, so to speak. New paradigm is happening. Okay, you cannot pass through the veils. With all this black negativity, victimization, poor me, poor me, blame, blame, blame. You can't pass through the veils. It won't happen. That means you won't be incarnating here 
now. You can stay on the astral planes. Maybe there's other time, space, dimensions you might want to incarnate on. But, you know, this is where all of your soul fam, most of your soul family is hanging out is on planet Earth. Okay. So you won't be coming back here. Maybe you don't think you care. But here's the thing. You'll keep incarnating until you wake up. It's as simple as that. There's no, well, I don't want to do it anymore. There's no options. You have no options. You will be incarnating until you wake up. That's it. Maybe not on planet Earth, but somewhere. So none of these emotions are going to leave. They're not leaving your body. They're not leaving your subconscious. They're not leaving your soul imprint until you know them. So the squeeze is awesome because in some way, what it's doing is it's going to help bring up unconscious wounding that you maybe been looking for and couldn't find. Maybe you've spent years unraveling healing like I have, <laughs> you know, and then it comes when the activation, you know, you get triggered, react, and then you can find it. Okay. So maybe you've been doing this for years and all of a sudden now something happens and you re recognize, oh, this is about me. Yes. The abandonment's happening. Betrayal's happening. Yes. It's all happening. But look, look, look. It's me. I'm looking at this now. How am I feeling? So you're letting yourself just face this drop in and unravel all of this so that you can get liberated from this wounding. You know, it's all about ev evolution of the soul. The soul is evolving, waking up. Okay? We've been stagnant for many, so many lifetimes. It's crazy because we look, we were in the dark ages prior to that. I mean, it just goes on and on under the unconsciousness of each of our lifetimes. Okay. So now it's like we are in that new paradigm. Everything is exploding in light. So in that light, we're also that light. And we want to be free in that light. And again, you can be squeezed. You can fight it. You can resist it. You can stay asleep. Or you can recognize what's happening. Ah, I called this in. I co-created this. I carried it over from past lives. I refused in the past to face these emotions. Now I have the opportunity to surrender into these deep, 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 profound emotions, unravel them and clear them and heal them so that I can be liberated from this particular wounding. Okay. So squeezed won't be fun, but wake up, realize, all right, this is an opportunity, another opportunity to get free, to get liberated, okay? So we actually have some cool things happening that will support you on your own journey. So on August 9th, we have a group clearing and it has to do with, I am inherently wrong, okay? August 9th, that's a cool one. Uh, Sarah is doing one and hers is on August 14th and it is unblocking resistance. <laughs> what a concept okay and then on august 21st uh, 21st i'll be doing another one it'll be called black sheep okay we got a lot of people black sheep of their family black sheep of their work all kinds of black sheep so in some way all of these group clearings are going to help and assist you in your un unraveling and healing your unconscious wounding okay all right now I just want to do a little bit of an activation. What I really want is for you to have the willingness, the willingness and hang on, the willingness and ability to face what's coming up when you're being squeezed. Okay. So, yeah, so release. okay. So first thing I want, yep, there we go. So yep, the ability, what I want to do is wake up an aspect of you that has the ability and power to take charge of your own life there. Mm -hmm, yeah, I got it. You got buried aspects of you that you've buried. Yeah, we're going to wake them up. Yeah, so we're going to just gonna just do a little bit of a clear, clear, clear the energy frequency that's got you, you know, on top of you, burying you, burying that part of you that has the ability to say yes to your own self and your own healing and waking up. Okay, so like right there, just releasing that energy, release, 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 release. Clearing that frequency, release, release, release. And then activating that part of you that is brilliant, that is astoundingly wise and wisdom and has powers and abilities that wants liberation. That aspect of you, that beautiful golden yellow frequency of you, and activate that, spark it up. There it is right there. 
Wait, here we go. Wait, mm -hmm. Waking up. Stop. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Stop. There you go. There you go. There we go. Open, open, open. Waking up, waking up, waking up. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. Good month. August. Squeezed.